this is what's in my bag. Start out with my putters. I carry two putters. They're both McPro AVRs, 175 max weight. I really only putt with this one. This one's brand new. I haven't really started putting with it much, but this is my putting putter. I, I putt with it up to 60 feet out. Any putt, that's what I putt with. Go to my mid ranges. I carry two Rancho Star Rock rocks. Two Rancho Star rocks. One of them's 173 grams. My orange one and my blue one is 180 grams. And I don't I don't throw putters ever, driving putters or up shots with a putter. I just I haven't found a comfortable shot with a putter to, to keep it nice and go the way I want it. So I use I usually will use my 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 Rancho Rocks to throw up shots because I know I can always control it. It always will finish left for me. Um, I can even, I can throw it forehand and always finish right for me. Really reliable disc. I carry one Gator, 175 grams, a Star Gator. This one is, if you see this come out of my bag, it's probably because it's windy or because I'm going to throw a, an up forehand shot. That's what I always throw because it always is it's very overstable. will always finish left if I throw a backhand or it will always finish right if I throw a, uh, a forehand. I carry two Rock 3s. One of them is a Glow Rock 3, which I haven't really thrown much, but when I have thrown it's been really, really overstable and I, I like that. I'll, I'll throw this if if I'm a little deeper out than my rocks. And then I have the McPro Rock 3, which is, you know, it's, it's always, it, this one is, has actually been, has been kind of finishing more straight for me. Um, I can kind of put it on any line and it will finish that way. But for the most part, it will it'll go straight and finish a little left. A new disc is the Prodigy 400G M5. I I typically only throw Innova discs, but I I've actually really enjoyed the Prodigy. I I won it off of the the CTP tournament that we had, and this one I can throw hard, dead straight on a flat line and it will always finish right for me. Really understable, it's, which is kind of a disc I've always been looking for and I've thrown it a few times, I've really liked it. Prodigy 400G M5. I also carry, I carry two Mako 3s, one up here. I carry this one mostly in case I lose this one. But the Mako 3, I can throw it straight and it will finish dead straight for a couple hundred feet. I love it. I can also, it'll also stay on any line I throw, but it never usually will, if, you know, if, if I, if I throw the disc and it goes the wrong way, it's on me. It's not on my disc. All right. Those are all my mid ranges. Let's go to my, uh, fairway drivers. I carry three T-Birds. My favorite T-Bird, which I throw the most, which is the thing that just flies straight and will always finish left for me, is the Ken Climo 12-time world champion, champion T-Bird. This one is, it's it's always reliable for me. I don't I don't usually make mistakes when I throw this. I throw it straight, always finishes left. Great disc for me. I have the champion T-Bird mold, plus mold. This one I haven't thrown a ton, but it's more overstable than my, than my, uh, 12-time and climbable champion T-Bird. This one's good if, if I really need a if I really need to get a good a skip. This will skip pretty good on a on a shorter uh, fairway drive. Haven't haven't used it a ton, but I, I really enjoy it. And then I also have the the G-Star T-Bird, which is also the plus mold. This one is kind of like my 12-time T-Bird. It'll go straight. And it'll finish left. I've actually just started trying to throw it a little forehand, and I it, it throws pretty nice. It will go straight, just like just like a backhand, and it'll finish right really good. I carry two Firebirds. This Firebird, also twelve time Kim Climo champion, it's pretty much strictly 
Thumber. If you see this disc come out, I'm throwing a thumber. And it, it, it just, it goes, it, it goes the same every time. It goes straight, turn over to the left a little bit, and just drop perfectly. I also carry another, the same fiber, but it's a little heavier. It's a 175. I think this is a 170 gram. This one as well, I'll, I'll pretty much strictly throw thumbers with it. I can throw this one probably 350, a 350 foot thumber, which that one I usually throw about 300. This one I'll also use if I, if I need a farther uh, T-bird shot. Farther than a T-bird, I'll throw, I'll throw the Firebirds and I'll kind of have this, almost the same path as my T-birds. I also have a new disc in the bag. It's a Discraft Mantis, which I'm only going to throw Thumbers with this as well. Um, I haven't thrown it much, but I know it, it's going to finish more to the right when I throw the Thumber. If I need a bigger hook to the right, I'll throw the Mantis. I haven't thrown it a lot yet, but I will. All right, off to my drivers. I carry I carry two destroyers. I carry a tie dye champion destroyer. This this destroyer is my most accurate. I can control it the best. But it'll, it'll, it'll go fast. It'll go straight. It'll turn. Always finish to the left for me. This T bird, this I mean, this destroyer is also really fast. I I haven't been able to throw it too well backhand because it's really really overstable. It's a star destroyer, so if you see this come out of my bag, I'll probably be throwing a forehand with it, mostly a flex forehand, and it'll always it'll always finish right no matter how much I put it on that 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 any any flex. I also carry two champion turns. This first one is my probably my sweetest disc. It's the, the skeleton hand disc. This is my most controlled uh, high speed driver. I'll throw this 80% of the time off the tee if it's if it's gonna if it needs a if I need a, a long distance drive. But I always will turn to the right and always fade back left. Always. And and the thing with this disc, I can put it on kind of any angle I want as well, and it'll stay that that uh, that angle. This turn is more overstable than this one. It's more in case I lose that disc. I I always I want another turn because it's my most accurate disc I throw. And then I throw a champion katana, which of course it's a it's a really understable disc as well. I'll throw this one. If I'm throwing with the wind, it'll always go right and it'll always come back to left for me. I also can get really good skips with this with the katana. It's a really fast disc, awesome disc to have. The last one is the Lucy's Pizza the Boss. It's a, I believe it's a G Star Boss. It's a G Star Boss. I only throw forehand with this one. So if you see this come out of my out of my bag, it's it's gonna be a forehand throw. But it's, it's pretty controlled. I, I can't get a ton of distance on just a normal forehand, so I, I as well, I, I flex this one for, for my forehand. A couple other just random discs I have up in my top compartment. I throw the Orc, which I I use this more also as a, if I'm on a long hole and I throw oh, a good 300 yard, 300 foot shot, then I'll, I'll take this out. And I can finish this one out with 350 the rest of the way and usually get it up there pretty good. This is always going to finish left for me as well. And then I have two other putters, which I want I want to get better at, at throwing them off the tee or on up shots, but I, I really haven't got into them. I have the Judge, and then I have, what is this disc? Nova. Uh, the Nova. I have the Nova that I just barely got for Christmas. Paul Macbeth, this is this is his kind of go-to off the tee putter disc. So I've, I'm I'm gonna try and get this incorporated in my bag. Anyway, this is this is Dallin Blanchard, 2015. I'm excited for the season. That's what's in my bag.